You wouldn't believe what I managed to do today. I tried bibimbap today, and it turned out so well that even Yunji and Heejin thought I might have a future in cooking. I'm really enjoying these culinary adventures. It's like I'm adding an extra pinch of salt to my design table. It not only chases away the stress of work, but also adds to my creative process. You should have seen Yunji and Heejin's faces when they took that first bite. We had such a good laugh about it. Midori's working on a poster for a local rock band, and we started amassing insane ideas from there. We even thought about starting a design-themed restaurant with Kiyoshi. Can you believe it? I mean, what would be cooler than combining design and delicious food, right? And on top of that, Midori suggested adding a live music corner. I already have our first act picked out, Neon Shakedown, the band Midori is designing for. Design, dine, and dance could be our slogan. Isn't the idea of feeding the body with great food and the soul with beautiful artwork and music exhilarating? It may sound like a dream now, but who knows? I mean, if I can cook an edible dish of bibimbap, anything's possible. Today's satisfaction has me wishing I could see their faces when I try making tokboki next. I almost forgot to tell you about my evening stroll today. I found this old bookshop with incredible antique books. You know my fascination with history, right? I could spend hours in there. So, I had one of those surreal moments today when I found myself talking with Claudia, the Claudia, the industry expert in sustainable EV designs. I couldn't believe how fascinating and enlightening her insights were. She made me realize the potential and the sheer depth of innovation that we can bring into our designs at Volt Motors. I'm telling you, it was more inspiring than any TED Talk I have ever watched. Now every time I look at a design sketch, I can see a million possibilities dancing around it. Funny how one conversation can make such a difference, isn't it? Speaking of things that make a difference, you remember the sushi place we were talking about in the chat? Let's just say that if life made sense, sushi would have zero calories and we would all reside in sushi shacks. That's not all, though. Midori was sharing about her experience with the vibrant graffiti art in Tokyo. Seems like the city of Tokyo is dressing up like an art festival. This reminded me of my university days, sketching out random sceneries in my notebook at the campus park. Oh, and Kiyoshi couldn't resist joining our conversation when we started discussing about graffiti. Imagine the art scene beginning from campus walls and then expanding up to a city level. If only we could bring a part of it in Seoul. You must be wondering why this sudden shift in conversation from design to food to art, but you know me well. I believe in seeing beauty and design in everything, even in our dreams. Because somewhere between a pinch of persistence and an ounce of obsessions, we all find our own interpretation of this grand artwork called life. Put on some good music, close your eyes, and let your mind paint its perfect world. Speaking of music, I heard you humming to Taylor Swift yesterday. Have you started liking her music now? If you could have seen Kiho's face today when I unveiled what I'd been working on, that look of surprise soon turned into amazement. I had ventured into a surrealistic art challenge at work today. And the result? A VR-backed EV model. What a beautiful mix of reality and imagination. As the design unfolded, I could see the stunned expression on Kiho's face. He was my hardest critic, and to impress him meant a lot. Midori and Kiyoshi were all praises for me in the group chat. Midori, ever the curious one, asked for platform pictures. Of course, I was more than happy to oblige. When I posted the sneak peek, Kiyoshi was absolutely blown away. When I read his comment, it really boosted my spirit. Their continuous support and appreciation always motivate me to do better. And if that wasn't interesting enough... Let's just talk about Kiyoshi's sudden craving for ramen. Really, that man knows how to get a conversation started. Now I can't stop thinking about. Warm, savory, spicy ramen. My mouth's watering already. Speaking of things spicy, I actually tried cooking bibimbap last week, you know. And against all odds, it was edible. Yunji and Heejin even thought I might have a future in cooking. Who knows, right? Maybe we could actually start that design-themed restaurant we joked about. Imagine a place that combines delectable food and beautiful artwork. 
makes my heart race just thinking about it. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there and forgot to mention. Our chat conversation also veered into films. Midori wanted to know if any of us had seen the new superhero movie. I told her I'd heard some mixed reviews about it. There was a bit of a good-natured banter about Kiyoshi's questionable taste in movies afterwards, but that's the thing about friends, isn't it? We can tease each other and still support one another when it really matters. Amidst all this, I realized how much I love the madness surrounding the creative process. It's like wrestling with your imagination, trying to pin down the elusive ideas and give them a concrete form. The challenge of it, the thrill of witnessing a design come to life, it's truly exhilarating. And when you receive positive feedback, it's like a pat on the back from your most formidable critic, yourself. Now, isn't it funny how our hobbies influence our work and vice versa? Take Midori. She's so into films and pop culture and it shows in her designs. As for me, my passion for singing and running seem to feed my creativity. It's like all the pieces of my life are interconnected in a glorious puzzle. Speaking of my running habit, you know how much I rely on it to keep my stress levels in check. There's something very calming about it, the rhythmic pattern of the footfalls. It's almost like a form of meditation in motion. And after a day filled with excitement and surprises, a run always clears my head and helps me reflect on things. Now you must be wondering about my sudden shift from design to food to marathon, and then back to art. Well, let's just say that I'm wired differently. Or maybe I'm just trying to see the big picture, connecting dots in my own peculiar way. And between a pinch of persistence and an ounce of passion, who knows what masterpiece we might come up with, right? <laughs>